Who would have thought that we could cross the country and then race the RV? We're gonna drive this in a racetrack, guys. We're driving the RV onto a racetrack right now. Oh Woo! my. What's up, guys? Today, we <laughs> thought we would do an interesting adventure, one that we have not been super familiar with as much. You'll notice this monster above Nelly's head and mine. This is called Monster Mile. If you're a NASCAR fan or you just know about the Dover International Speedway, you know that what this place is. We're gonna take a tour here and maybe, maybe, maybe the white whale, El Gordo, is gonna be able to touch the racetrack as well. Okay guys, back access into the Monster Monument. Cool. Whoa. Have you guys seen that commercial with Jeff Gordon? Hidden camera with Pepsi, I think it was. Oh, you're an idiot, I'm gonna kill you. Hilarious. You know, we're just gonna link that up here because it's just funny and you should just watch that after. <laughs> look, at, look at this slanting, like I'm totally. It starts off at nine degrees at the center. Look at my feet, they go down. And it slants to 24. If you've ever been like, okay, what's the big deal about NASCAR? And, Indy races and all these car races because simple answer it's not what you think average speed of 170 180 average yeah 39 other drivers they're getting paid to keep you from being in front of them and they don't have like side mirrors because if they did they'd all get ripped off probably by the end of the race <laughs> but they're also wearing the head and neck shoulders so they can't look over the shoulders. head and neck support major blind spots they're going super fast and they're being told by a spotter what to do this is where spotters stand for the drivers. A lot of respect for this. Super cool. Didn't realize how much it banks down. Boom, boom, boom. Already. Our RV would just roll off. Yeah, the RV would totally tip. There. Who would have thought, who would have thought that we could cross the country and then race the RV? This is it. This is the moment. Look at how much that banks. Can you see that? Are we just gonna like topple over? Avon's in a car seat, so we're all right. I don't know if I can drive where they're driving right now. I really don't know if I can. You're about to find out. Okay, if this starts to tip. Shoot. Oh boy, oh boy, this makes me nervous. Okay. Okay. We are on the race course. Yeah. How does this feel? How do you feel? Actually, that was really nerve wracking. Like at the beginning, we were totally tilting. There's I no guess... way we could get up there though. Can you I don't imagine? know if you guys can Look tell. At this slant. There's no way. Like, we would for sure just topple over. <laughs> and then roll. There's no way. But uh, this is pretty cool. This is crazy. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> From bird's eye view, it might look like I just walked to the edge of it, but that's how low Nelly is there. That's crazy how much this banks. Here in a car driving. Race, like, tracks. Oh, it's on. It's on. If there was snow, I could go sledding. Yeah, that's true. Here we are in the pit lane, the pit road. This is spot number four. The best spots are the front, so you have the easiest way to get out, and then the very back, because no one's in your way to get in. College athletes are recruited a lot. You need to be really fit to work under pressure, to work really fast, to be able to lift and be precise so that your team can keep winning. Does the driver kind of take a breather? Or they're probably coaching him the whole time, too. I mean, there's not really enough time to... How long is it? Oh geez, 13 <laughs> seconds. I can't even say my name in that time. We're gonna take the RV over to the finish line. Start and finish line. Do a little race in here. Holy moly. We are like way slanted, you guys. I don't know if you can tell. If this is me holding straight, that's how slanted we are. Uh, it makes you so nervous. Okay, maybe we're not gonna mob down the course. Maybe we are. Oh man, I broke 24 miles an hour right there. The RV can only go 75 miles an hour anyway. Thank you uh, YouTube and Facebook and Instagram for uh, supporting me in my career so that I can win at life. <laughs> I don't know, that's all I got. This is Victory Lane, right? That's what it's called? Victory Lane. Not many people get to stand here, but those who do... Are winners, which yeah. means we are. <laughs> we did not earn it. We we 
we didn't. If you guys get a chance and you're in Delaware or nearby, come to the International Speedway, the Dover International Speedway, and do a tour. Our knowledge of these races was very small, and now I can see why people, we in are, fact, we're gonna be diehards now. We're actually bringing a treasure for you to come to one of the races. It's gonna be tickets for a family, family of friends of four, four pack, which is gonna be awesome. The dates are Here in May. The date, so so yeah. if you can't come, don't find the treasure. October 4th through the 6th in 2019. Bring your coolers, because I guess you can bring your own food in, which is rad. I maybe see. just let us know when you find the treasure and maybe we'll come with you, because we actually really wanna to come to a race now. What's up guys? We are at, I just forgot, Lund. Lums. Lums Pond State Park. We're actually at the campground here for RVs. And there's a trail here within the same vicinity as the state park. Um, we thought this would be a cool place to hide the treasure for the Dover Speedway Pass for four. So here's where we are. Little, little Jersey trail. Ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, maybe found a spot. Recently felled trees. No, I don't No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mom says no. So I'm pretty sure this trail goes like around the whole state park. But if you just come into the campground, there's like a little guest parking to the left. And then the trail is to the left as well. Thing. Let's do it here. Right, Let's find a spot here. Okay, it opens up in this area into these trees. Evelyn loves the trees. Always. This girl and her leaves. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this tree kind of had a little hole anyway. at the base of this tree. This tree slants up like it curls. This tree here, boom. Here's the coordinates. This one might be a little more tricky. It's a cool spot right here. There's the entranceway. If you're coming to find the treasure, just follow this video again. Even in the ground, there's a root and a root into the trees here that tree. Plus here's the coordinates to help you out. See this? This was from some car. Any advice for the people who are trying to make it big? Alright guys, and this is the campground that the trail Little Jersey's on. I don't know, probably one of the most beautiful parks we've seen, so definitely come check it out.